House Republicans have blocked a proposal by Democrats to increase direct payments to $2,000, meaning our representatives will go home for the holiday with no guarantee of any more relief for the American people. President Trump had demanded this stimulus increase earlier in the week. It was a long shot to begin with. Democrats needed all Republicans to back them, and the bill did not have bipartisan approval. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she'll bring the House back on Monday to hold a vote to increase direct payments. However, there is still hope for relief. If President Trump signs the bill on his desk that includes $600 for individuals, those checks could be rolled out in the coming weeks. On Capitol Hill, as Democratic Representative Steny Hoyer called on the president to sign the package on his desk and get some sort of relief process started before the holiday. Some Republicans want to rewrite the bill altogether. This is Christmas Eve. Surely, the President of the United States, whether he's in Mar-a-Lago or any place else, ought to empathize with the pain and suffering and apprehension and deep angst that the American people are feeling this Christmas Eve and sign this bill. Congressman Hoyer also noted that government funding is included in the bill and the president's signature would be required to keep crucial federal services running during this pandemic. We will, of course, keep you updated on that as the day continues. Stick with us on air and online. As always, you can get any updates sent directly to your phone with the KCTV 5 News app. Kansas Governor Kelly says, uh, Laura Kelly says, Kansas prisoners should get the COVID-19 vaccine before the general population. During an interview with the Topeka Capital Journal, the governor stated that congregate living centers are hot spots, including prisons and nursing homes. The governor went on to say the only way ultimately to rid those kind, uh, kinds of facilities of the virus is for the vaccination to come. It makes all sorts of sense for us to include all congregate settings in the first line of vaccines. The Capitol Journal reports they did ask the governor to clarify twice, and she confirmed she would support prisoners getting vaccinated before the general population. Speaking yesterday, Governor Kelly also said that Kansas should stop giving local officials the final say over the state's response to the pandemic because experience has shown a patchwork approach does not work. The Republican-controlled legislature already has committed to considering changes in emergency management laws when it opens its annual 90-day session on January 11th. Governor Mike Parson has issued an emergency ruling aimed at getting more people to administer the COVID-19 vaccine. Missouri will now allow pharmacy technicians to give vaccinations as long as they are under the supervision of a licensed pharmacist. This could allow more people to receive non-COVID vaccine like flu shots. Skies will stay clear this evening. It's going to be a pretty sky to look at, but at the same time, it's going to be cold to be out in it. 20 degrees at 7, temperatures falling into the teens after that, and the wind will stay pretty brisk. In fact, wind chills by the late evening hours are down again into the single digits. 7 o'clock in the morning, 12 degrees. It's going to be a cold Christmas morning with wind chills down to near zero by daybreak. Sunny skies all day and a nice warm up after the noon hour. 42 degrees by about 4 o'clock in the afternoon hours. Let's have a look ahead to next week, though. That's going to be the biggest weather story of the next seven days. Watch it all come together. We get missed by that little opportunity on Sunday. This one does not miss us, though. Catches us pretty much square on. Chance for snow, a chance for sleet and a chance for rain. All of that happening between Tuesday and Thursday. Now the snow totals may look impressive here. Keep in mind, these numbers are not going to happen with that snow and sleet and rain mixture. Those numbers will likely be down somewhere in the two to three inch range generally. Daytime highs today, 28 degrees, 40 on Friday. will sneak up to about 50 degrees Saturday before that cool down and the snowstorm arrives next week. Enjoy the next seven days.